It is time for another one. Alright, welcome back to another episode of TNO, The New Order. Today we're gonna be playing as Italy, so let's just fucking get into it. Okay, so, I've uh, done the army shit, I'm currently making sure that I can take care of the navy, because it's spread out everywhere and I cannot have that. <laughs> um, so let's just take a quick peek at the decisions and events. First of all, we have to uh, have this empire management, I am assuming, to make sure no part of the empire here uh, breaks away. Don't know how to use these points though. Uh, then we have the uh, internal problems with... Uh, I didn't, didn't read this completely, but you know, I guess we'll, we'll see. I just have to make sure that the faction that I want to go with uh, stays the strongest. Um, here we can uh, do projects in the south of Italy which uh, seems to be relatively poor. This is our nuclear project that we're going to invest something some in, uh, but we'll see. And this is our discovery of oil that we can further here with political power. All right, so then we have our, um, our focus tree. We've got uh, the Forza and Sicurezza uh, trees. And I don't know which one does which, but I want to uh, go with some reforms and stuff and I can see that preparing special committee is probably the one that's gonna give us reforms and not the one that's called reforms can wait all right so that was the first crash <laughs> I've ever had in TNO but let's hope that doesn't continue through this Italy playthrough oh yes we're on the re road to freedom we'll get a, pop a change in popularity for authoritarian democracy Okay, so first we have a new expert for the nuclear program. I fired the last one. I cannot read anything here. Sure, welcome him on board. I have no fucking clue what's happening. I couldn't read any of that. <laughs> Alright, so now first we have to uh, handle the Balkan situation. Which I am going to assume is going to bring a war with Croatia. Oh, and uh, talks with India will actually boost our own democracy a little bit, which is very nice. Um, oh, Borman is the successor, yeah. I don't care much. Okay, and there's the first um, decision that's going to change some things here. De la Chiesa requests more men. All right, as requests for Italian reinforcements and getting an increasingly frequent and urgent, it seems we will have to make a decision. Now, I think, yeah, we'll... Uh, will keep our power in the Levant. Oh, we're gonna give rights to refugees. That's gonna make Germany very, very, very unhappy. And we're gonna have the Algerian summit probably with uh, with Spain. We'll see how that works. I mean, I'm going to attempt to keep uh, everything alive here with Turkey and the Iberian Union, but we'll see how that how that's going to work. Um, exactly, we'll see. Wait, why are all my divisions just chilling on one tile? And why are they not moving in? What in the seven hells is going on here? Am I being retarded here? What's ha what the fuck is happening? The Roman Empire was all about assimilation and integration after all. Yes, I think we should definitely take in the refugees from the German Empire. We're no longer much of a friend, uh, much of a friends, are we? <laughs> Wait, and you're doing it too. Why? Why are you doing this? What the fuck is it? What? Have I forgotten how this shit works? Or how? What the fuck is going on, dude? Okay, it seems that um, war is the only solution against Croatia, but we'll see. First, we'll have the Malta Conference. Uh, I don't know how you can actually keep everything together here. Because, uh... Up until now, I think every time I've seen this stuff, uh, someone bombs the Malta conference. Chiano gives the opening speech and he's apparently very blunt about the fact that there are problems that need to be addressed. So let us see what happens when the Turkish delegates talk. I hope they're not the ones that get bombed to fucking shit. Okay, so the Turkish speech is very blunt. <laughs> um, and they're basically saying that they need, want their lands back, their historical lands back, if they are to remain in the Triumvirate. 
I assume that is the Levant. Um, but we'll see what it is exactly that that entails. Okay, and Franco and Salazar had spoken as well, the two Caudillos of Iberia. Not a blunt at all. They uh, say they have disputes they need to have, uh, they need to talk about as well, but without threats or anything, and they, uh, they speak about um, the greatness of the union of these three countries. So we'll see how this goes. And the discussion over the Suez Canal starts, which uh, currently is under control of Italy, who taxes Iberia and Turkey the same as any other state. Okay, the Spanish, or sorry, the Iberians demand that they get to use the canal, canal as well as us. And they'll give us aid money, and I think, yes, maybe we can come to an agreement. Oh, uh, Iberia, Iberia is, uh, they, they are not having it, huh? At the same time, in four days, we'll see if Germany manages to put that aid to a 9 or a 10, which would be quite annoying. Uh, we'll see, we'll see what happens here. This is quite interesting. Okay, Germany went to 11, so we win the first round. No, the second round. Wait, I didn't notice that the first round had started. This is just stupid. Why does it not tell you? What, what the f- I didn't get a chance. I didn't get a choice. It's just, this is just a story. Like, Jana refuses again. That's just how it is. You can't do anything about this. All right, so we're at the border conference and the Iberia is not here because they were mad at us. <laughs> um, Turkey basically wants uh, Rhodes, which is this island here. I, I assume they want this land. And they want Cyprus from Greece, which is our puppet, so basically also from us. Uh, they want their rightful Turkish lands as a state. And uh, yeah, maybe we can come to an agreement or is this also just scripted to fail? Is it even possible to um, to keep the triumvirate together, or is it just scripted to fail? Like, I mean, it doesn't feel to me that my decisions so far have really done anything. Okay, so the Turkish and the Iberians blame uh, us, of course. The triumvirate is gone, and there was absolutely nothing I could do against it. Whenever I had a choice, I chose the diplomatic thing. So what's the fucking point in giving me a choice? Even I mean, that's that. I mean that pisses me off a little bit, but you know whatever. I guess we're playing through a story. But on the bright side, that does give us a uh, new focus tree. What are you doing? Ah. <sighs> Do you even have divisions? I want the Levante. Alright, here, yeah. Okay, let's send volunteers. We can send two divisions, so that is what we will do. We don't have tanks or anything like that, so... Uh, <laughs> just gonna send normal infantry down there. Okay, so in a day we should get two to four more points, which puts us above Germany. Nice. I can't do anything about that anymore, because uh, in two days it's over. Get fucked, Germany. Get absolutely fucked. Yeah, I mean, as long as I can't declare an all-out war on uh, Turkey, I, 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 can't, I can't do anything. And because we're cheesy fuckers, um, we're gonna do this. That gives us two to four points. 17 days before it's over, meaning... I think the AI will only notice that it's happened after it's happened and then they won't have time to actually react anymore. Okay, one day and then we'll see that we've boosted to eight. Oh no, and now they have nine days left to do their thing, but in five days it's gonna be over. So we kinda cheese the AI. <laughs> okay, after the second crash as <laughs> Italy. <laughs> We apparently uh, can now sue for peace in the Levant. You can either go with Chiano's deal, um, which is basically just they have to demilitarize the zone and we go back to all borders, or we can go with Scorza's deal. Uh, they have to give us Damascus and stuff like uh, a bit of this region. But we'll go with Chiano's deal, we don't want to fuck uh, with Turkey too much because we're gonna lose this eventually. 
And yes, they accepted, and we have won the war. That is very good. Uh, Germany has pulled the cheesy boy on me. <laughs> I do not like that. They're just uh, in 15 days, and in 9 days, um, they will, will get at least one point, but it's more likely they will get more. So we'll do the 1 to 3 as well, the one that costs 200 manpower. And we're just gonna hope that we get a 2 or a 1 and not a 3. The moment of truth is upon us. First, Germany will update their thing. Oh, they made it to 10. Are you fucking kidding me? I need a two on this. I really need a two on this. Fuck off, I get a one. Well, come on, give me the event. Bulgaria sides with Italy. That's very good. Okay, so. Now there is going to be a conference in Verona. Um, where the problems between Carlo Scorza and Tiano will be addressed between the reformist and the hardline um, fascist. I have had so many events pop up now <laughs> about this stuff, like keeping Africa and the Levantine uh, under control. Like it is difficult to keep an empire of this size and this diversity together. And so the conference begins. Okay, so. Giano has spoken against the Ministry of Popular Culture, the Min Culpop, which basically censors anything uh, media-like, and Scorza speaks for it, so now we get the event of the council votes. Yeah, Scorza's proposal is shot down. Okay, the next reform is on the black shirts, Gianna wanting to reform them, they're sort of like the SA uh, in Germany, that used to be the SA. Let's vote on the black shirts. Of course it passes, yes. And now the council tr uh, votes on the trade unions. Uh, of course, Chiano's plan has passed as well here. Oh, now we are talking about uh, getting rid of the Itzerbo laws, or at least reforming them, which basically make the fascists the only party. Um, this would be a step towards democracy, and, well, <laughs> Scorza is not having it. And the Grand Council's final vote. And, of course, we'll go with Chiano once more. Bringing Italy closer to democracy. Alright, and the delegates remain faithful to Giano. Very good. Giano declares the Congress a success. Ave Giano. And yeah, let's just uh, let's just go, I guess, into this new focus tree. And with that, basically the um Democratic parties are back in our state. Ooh, and our northern neighbor's about to fucking explode. <laughs> Cause uh, Hitler be gone. Okay, our focus was cancelled because uh, the crisis in Algeria has started. So uh, let's get through that. Okay, so I am not exactly sure, but. I do believe that this is the peaceful way to go, and this is the war way to go. And uh, the way we're playing Italy at the moment, I want to go for the peaceful way, because this is a... Uh, um, this isn't just map painting at this point, is it? So... Which I enjoy, of course, I enjoy that. But therefore, I do not want to go to war, and maybe we can even, you know, set up a... government that both Iberia and Italy uh, can... Uh, can live with. Okay, and we go to extend the olive branch, the last um, focus there. Uh, just before this, Croatia started to uh, try to break free again. As the Ustaza, or how are you, uh, you pronounce that, are in power, and they just declared war on me. Are you fucking choking right now? Just as I was about to have peace. What did you go down? Piece of fucking shit. Okay, you're a fucking twat. 
you know that? You're absolute fucking twats. No, it's just not, I mean, that's just all I can say. No, you're just fucking twats. Fucking piece of shit Iberian cunts is what you are. And that's just a fact. Greece and Croatia has broken free right now? Are you fucking kidding me? Yes, they're both gone. What? Wait. Are you fu- they're- mm. No, god fucking damn it, I don't know what to do here. <sighs> we'll shoot only if it's absolutely necessary. I would like it very much if my divisions could finally get there. Where shall we meet? Well, this might be stupid, but we'll meet in Athens. Okay, our divisions are there. And with that, the war in Algeria is over. We have, of course, won. Those fucking pesky Iberians had to go the warpath, and it cost them. But, uh, on the other hand, we are losing Greece, so that's a bit shit. <laughs> well, so I've lost to Levant, so it didn't even fucking matter that I fought against uh, Turkey, I guess. Um, yeah, so the Jews have toked, uh, founded Israel. Oh, and we declare war on Croatia. Something I am very willing to do, actually. Um, you know what? We're just gonna micro this. It's not- a, I don't have a great air force. Like, at all. But it is an air force nonetheless. Yeah, I mean, Croatia didn't- Well, yeah, there they go. <laughs> Croatia didn't really stand a chance. Uh, and now they're a puppet again, so that's very nice, isn't it? Yes, truly nice. And there we have it, the national focus Il Duce's democracy completed, and we got the gift of democracy, and we get the national focus tree, Italy, Ciano reform. Are we already democratic? No, the 22% fascists are still in power. Now, slowly but surely, we're getting closer to the democracy by destroying the fascist party in the electorate, in the government, and in the organization. Okay, as we are building our democracy, let's just have a quick peek at what's going on in the world otherwise. So, uh, England has won their civil war. Um, Bormann is destroying everyone, but somehow Heydrich is still alive in Luxembourg. Moscow has fallen apart again, but this time uh, democracy has not come through in the Ukraine. Uh, but Moscow has been reunified this time by Brochstadt. What needs to be stated is that Kemerovo has defeated the Siberian Black Army. That is the first time I have not seen them win in the center here. Um, we still hold the Suez Canal, so that's good. And Yemen and Oman are still doing fine. Oh, uh, and finally we can exile Scorza. He is gone. And there goes Goering, and it's only Heydrich and Bormann. Heydrich has broken out a little bit, but that's gonna change as soon as all the forces go to him, I assume. And that is the end of the German Civil War. Orman has uh, ended up victorious once again. Okay, and the next Italo-German great game has started, this time over Hungary. And we are already on 8 there on 0, so unless we have something that makes it, gives us a 1 to 2 points, we will just wait this one out. And I think we have just about won the first round against Germany for Hungary. Me and Germany are both on 7 points now, and in a day it'll be resolved. They're on 11, I'm on 9, and I win in that case. And with the second to last focus here, Galeazzo Ciano, Il Duce, steps down from being the leader of Italy. Praise Ciano. As Umberto becomes the leader for the despotism party, towards democracy and the race for the first campaign shall begin and there's the uh, event democracy returns to Italy democracy shines in the Mediterranean once more the start of the campaign and with this we can decide between Aldo Moro who uh, appears 
to um, be authoritarian but democratic. Nenny, who seems to be a socialist, and Giorgio Almirante, who seems to be a reformist fascist. I think we're going to go with the authoritarian democracy for this playthrough, um, if that is what we're getting with Muro. Oh, so these are uh, literally all of the things uh, that we can uh, we can uh, decide, yeah. Uh, we're going to go for equal opportunities benefit not just women, but all of Italy. Well, the question is, the youth should engage in a struggle for socialism, the right-wing students are united for Italy, Catholic movement shall spread far and wide. Basically left-wing, right-wing, and uh, I think this is uh, middle ground, more or less, I would assume. No, let's just, let's just go with the socialist, um, the socialist students. And with that, Tomsk has unified central Siberia. That has never happened before. And it's democratic power in Russia now. And the next thing we discuss in our democracy, minorities in politics. The peoples of Italy march together for equality. The communities of Italian minorities defer, deserve autonomy. That definitely no. Uh, we'll say the people of Italy march together for equality. The other two uh, seem like conflict, and that is something I want to avoid. Holy fucking shite. I actually got a two. I'm on ten. That's very lucky. Now let's just hope that uh, Germany doesn't get a one here. Now the voices of the workers. I'm a bit afraid, but we'll go uh, of communism, but... I don't want to go communist, you see, I want to stay democratic, but I think Workers of Italy Unite is what we're going with. I don't... Christian democracy is also not what I really want, so... Oh, uh, Germany got to 10. Which sucks. The church's involvement, I mean it... <sighs> Jesus was the first socialist, and in the name of God, these Bolsheviks must be stopped. We're, the, we're going for the church shall support a party of Catholics. I mean, that only makes sense, right? Oh shit, that worked. We're on 10 again. As long as uh, Germany doesn't is, doesn't have fucking luck streak again. I think we, we have this. I did not read this at all, but the people deserve freedom. Yes. We will be the beacon of hope in Europe. Next to all of this uh, fascism and potential socialism in in uh, in Russia, depending on who wins. We shall be the beacon of hope. It's DC vote DC, which is the uh, Democratic Christian Party, Democrazia Cristiana. Um, then we have the, as the Fronte Democratico, a leftist big tent gathering numerous organizations to the left of DC, Chiefly formed out of the Italian Socialist Party and the Italian Social Democratic Party, FD is the direct continuation of anti-fascist fascist exile and underground organizations. Finally, the underdog of the race are the Blocchi Nazionali, a right-wing coalition largely formed out of the remnants of the PNF, the BN Oscillate between... Cons the BN Oscillate... <laughs> it's not Italian... <laughs> Between conservatism, nationalism, and outright fascist rhetoric. I love how they say outright fascist. Like, it's it's been like, what, three weeks since we've abolished fascism? <laughs> um, yeah, but I think we're going with the Democrats. And there we have it. Victory for the for Democrazia Cristiana. Most wild, widely predicted outcome for the elections has come to realization. Viva la DC. And with that, we have Aldo Moro as our leader and liberal democracy as our um, ideology. And a huge new focus tree. Oh my fucking god. We are now the democratic center of Europe. I'm, uh, I'm quite proud of what we achieved in this episode. Um, this is where I'm going to leave it off for uh, for today. But um, we won the war against Turkey. We still lost the Levant to uh, to the new state of Israel. We won the war against Spain, uh, keeping Algeria under our rule. Wait, no, that's actually... No, wait, what? They're free. Well, yeah, whatever. Who cares? Who cares? 
We've kept Croatia after war, and we've brought Bulgaria into our sphere. We're about to bring Hungary into our sphere as well. How is that going, by the way? Very well. We have sadly lost Greece. We couldn't manage to hold on to the Triumvirate. That's a bit sad, but I don't think that's actually possible. Tell me if I am wrong. But uh, I chose the things that were, in my opinion at least, the right things to, to do. Um, and it had no impact. Uh, yeah, so that's all for this episode. We'll continue this uh, playthrough in the next episode. If you enjoyed, leave a like and a comment. And consider subscribing if you have not already. And that's all for me. So see you all in the next episode. See ya.